So welcome back to another video today. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Yes, Battlefield 4. Now it seems like a rarity to have Battlefield 4 on this channel, but assuming Dragon's Teeth is out or came out in the past uh, three days or so, I thought I'd give my impressions of this DLC. First things first though, I wanted to say uh, sincere apologies for not uploading the past week or so. I've just been really, really busy, had absolutely no time whatsoever to record Battlefield 4 or Dragon's Teeth. But I also wanted to say a massive thank you for the amazing response and support on the previous video, which of course was Insurgency. I hadn't played that game for a very long time and it's really good to see people are still enjoying that game because... I think it's just truly incredible. It works so well, so smoothly, it's just an incredible first person shooter. But today is Battlefield 4, it is dedicated to Battlefield 4 because I haven't done a video on Battlefield 4 for a, uh, a good three weeks or so, which is a very long time. Dragon's Teeth now, Dragon's Teeth, I have to say, in one word, is truly incredible. It's amazing, even though that was two words, but it's awesome. It's um, so far for me, I would say it's probably the best DLC to Battlefield 4 so far. Of course, you can argue Naval Strike was equally as awesome, or say Second Assault was pretty good, but um, discounting Second Assault because it basically was Battlefield 3 all over again, um, I have to say either Naval Strike or Dragon's Teeth, they're two contenders for the best DLC so far for Battlefield 4. Dragon's Teeth offers uh, four close quarters infantry focused maps. Now, I have to say, I for one was very skeptical about the map size because um, seeing infantry focused close quarter combat that kind of implies small maps. And even though, even though the maps in Dragon's Teeth are fairly small, they're not quite as small as I made myself believe. So, if you imagine back to Battlefield 3 uh, close quarters, those maps were very, very small. Now, they're not quite as small as that in Dragon's Teeth, but I believe they're about half or quarter the size of a normal Conquest Large Battlefield 4 uh, map. So they are quite small, just not really too small. So you do have very close quarters infantry focused combat uh, quite a lot of the time, but you also have long range combat, which, which is very cool because it's nice to have a balance of absolutely everything in a map. Uh, of which you wouldn't think was very possible. Okay, so lastly, what I really like about Dragon's Teeth is the fact that it's everything I wanted from, say, Battlefield 4. Now, I'm a big fan of vehicles. I like helicopters, I like jets, I like tanks, and all that cool stuff. But also, I'm a massive fan of infantry-only combat, and that really leads me down to Team Deathmatch. I'm a big fan, and I play Team Deathmatch, well, quite a lot mainly 99% of the time I play Battlefield 4. But Dragon's Teeth, either way, if you're playing Team Deathmatch or not, uh, you have the infantry only focused combat, of which I really do enjoy, and the tight knit close quarter areas of the maps. Of course, uh, on some of them I do believe, actually on most of them if you're playing Conquest Large, you have uh, vehicles, you have the Amtrak, you've got LAVs, you've got jet skis, of which are totally useful, you've got helicopters, which are absolutely awesome. So, uh, as I mentioned previously in a previous video, um, but I wanted to talk about it now because I've really got the chance to actually experience Dragon's Teeth and actually play it for the first time. So, it's really cool to have the vehicles and the infantry-only focus combat or the, um, the close quarters combat uh, with infantry, but adding vehicles into the mix. So, that is very very cool but besides that I guess I'll have to do for my first impressions talk about Dragon's Teeth kind of uh, stuff but of course in the coming days weeks months if you will I will have more videos hopefully on the weapons live commentaries etc etc so it should be more frequent than uh, once every week so I'm going to try and upload a bit more frequently uh, if I can nonetheless I do hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and as always until next time. Play Insurgency, the god of all first person shooters.